Hey Battlefoam fans, we're excited to show you another really cool product. As you guys know, we've been partnered with Privateer Press for several years now, and our partnership with them has been something of a joy. Uh, the main reason for that is that they're always releasing amazing models and really great products, and that the fact that they've uh, entrusted us with taking care of their transportation needs and being allowed to have the great logo of Privateer Press on our bags is something amazing. So for that, we continue on with the releases of their cool bags. Uh, and what I mean by that is we have to go bigger. Their game's getting bigger. The popularity has grown tremendously over the last 12 months. And because of that, some large models have come out. Uh, and future releases are only going to get bigger and better from those guys. So, we had to get a solution for you guys. We've seen you walking around the conventions with a bag full of metal. And it looks heavy. So what we decided to do finally is get you guys a bag with wheels. But also a bag that's bigger and allows you to attach to your current War Machine and Hordes bags that you guys already have at home. Also the P3 bag will easily fit on top of this. So let's get over and show you the bag and how it works. So first of all, you'll notice that you have the durable hard sides. Keep that in mind. Now our competition out there says that their bags are stronger and tougher. Fact is, our bags have been proven to last and be more durable. And on top of that, you have a warranty. You have a lifetime warranty on your phone and you have a one year warranty on the bag itself for any sort of manufacturing defects. That means your investment is protected for a minimum of 12 months, potentially the rest of the time that you're hobbying. So what's cool about this bag is you have the hard, durable inner shell. I mean, this thing is rock solid. Along with that, let's look at some of the different items and pockets and knickknacks that this bag has. Besides the gorgeous, huge logo on here. Now, what do they say at Privateer Press? You know, you better have a pair to play their game. That logo is showing that you got a gigantic pair, let me be honest with you. If you open the top here and you look inside, we actually thought of something really cool. The reason why we had to have a really large pocket in the front here was because you have to be able to get to the actual items inside. And having the pockets be split or having multiple pockets on the front would take away from this gorgeous logo. So we want the really large pocket. What this allows you to do though is fit almost every rule book they have because you have such a huge space in here. So you can put MK1 in there, MK2, you can put some other storybooks, you can put a variety of different things. And again, multiple codecs are going to fit in here with no problem. But we thought about the little things that you guys are going to carry around. So if you look, and it might be hard to see on here, but there are pictures on our website, there's another pocket within a pocket inside the bag. So you can put your templates in here, you can put your dry erase markers here, and you can put some other tokens or whatnot you may need on the other side. So there's a pocket within a pocket, and then you can also put your books, of course. So closing that up on the front, let's turn it back to its side. On the side here, you'll notice you have a zippered side pocket. The last thing you want to worry about when you're pulling a cart behind you is if your bag and your stuff is going to fall out. So in here on the sides, we decided to do a fully closed zipper pocket to make sure that whatever you throw in here is going to stay in there safe. You'll notice on one side you have the War Machine logo, on the center you have the Privateer Press logo, and on the other side you have the Hordes logo. What that means is, regardless what army you play, you can have the bag and you're representing both factions and you're also representing the company itself. So what's cool about that is you don't have to buy two bags, you can buy one. On the back of it, you'll find the extendable arm. Now watch this thing, it's out of frame already, it's so big. And the reason for that is you're going to be able to attach another couple bags on here. Let's bring this guy back down. Again, back panel is solid. That is hard construction on there. You have these huge caster wheels on the bottom, so no matter how heavy your bag gets, you're not going to have to worry about getting it flat. So this is going to take care of that problem. Now, if you spin the bag around, you're going to get inside and look at the foam loadout. So, opening it up, this opens up like a chest. And the reason why this opens up like this is so that when you have this panel down, you don't have to worry about this thing flopping around in the wind on you. It's just going to be down out of the way. And the trays inside simply just pull right out, like so. Now, here's the loadout you're going to get with this bag. So inside of here, you're going to find three of the regular troop trays, three of the medium trays, which a lot of you guys have asked for, and one larger jack tray so you can stand your jacks up inside of it. So currently, the jack tray that's already in the case, in your battle foam cases slash war machine case, is going to be a little smaller than this. This is going to be taller and allow for some of the taller models. And with the three mediums, you can hot swap these out of your regular war machine bag. This is the same exact footprint as your regular war machine bag. So you can put different things in here. This will also work great for the half trays. The half trays are for any of your battle engines or large beasties. 
You can put half tray here, half tray here, regular trays, big beasts, all kinds, and mix and match. So that's going to have a variety of different options for you. And this is the kit that you get with every single bag. Now, going and putting this back up, let's look at how this thing functions. Now, this is going to be a little tough because we're out of frame here a little bit. But one thing you'll notice on the sides is that you have these heavy-duty metal hooks with a three-stitch uh, connection to the back. What that's going to allow you to do is attach your other war machine and privateer press bags from us. So, we're going to grab this regular war machine bag here. Let's see if I get both of these guys in there. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to attach it. Now, if you remember, all war machine bags have this zipper system on it that attaches to the P3 bag. The cool thing about that is it allowed you to put a, T a P3 bag on the bottom of the war machine bag and carry it around. But what about attaching it to this? Now you'll notice there's no zipper on here. There's a reason for that. Because the bottom of the P3 bag does not have a zipper on it, what we didn't want to have happen is someone attached their P3 to the war machine bag and then not be able to attach it to this bag. So what we decided to do is come up with a clever solution that actually acts as a shoulder strap slash binding. So what we'll do here is show you guys these heavy duty straps. Now if you look, these have heavy duty metal bindings on them and also really solid Velcro strip across. What happens is these will clip right onto the top of this and it can either act as a shoulder strap. Now you will get two of these. So you can either have these on like a shoulder strap. And we'll put these on here real quick. You can either use these as shoulder straps and carry this just like that over your shoulder or you can use it to cinch up your bigger bag. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and unpop these there, just like that. Let me take this one off, just like that. We're going to take our war machine bag, and I know you've lost me, but keep an eye here. We're going to line these up so they're perfectly straight. And I am completely out of frame, I already know that. We're going to go ahead, and if you can't see this, we're going to adjust these down by clipping them in place, cinching everything tight, like so. And what you'll notice is, because this is a tearaway Velcro, you don't have to worry about it being difficult to cinch down. You simply just run it over the top of the bag. And again, I apologize that you guys can't see every exciting moment of this, but take my word for it, it cinches on really good here, and I'll show you in a second. I'm going to pull that down like so. And because you have a durable hard shell case on top here, you don't have to worry about cinching this down too tight and it's squishing your back. It's not going to do that. It's not going to squish anything because you don't have to worry about it getting all pressed down because you have a hard shell. So, now that we put this thing down, let me go ahead and show you how the handle goes up. The handle goes up right behind it, and if you have a P3 attachment in the middle, it goes up high enough for you to be able to actually have the P3 in the bottom of it. And if you look, this easily can support both bags because of the durable connection all the way around. You can also still get to your pockets on the side without having to take it apart. What's even more exciting is you can still get into the inside, where's my zipper grip, of this part of the bag because the zipper will actually come across the top and allow you to open your bag like so. So you can still get into your bottom trays without having to take your bag off of here. You want to close it back up, zip it, and you're done. So if you want to remove it all together, boom, pop your handles off. Put this aside, put this down, unclip these, or better yet, just use them as a shoulder strap. And now you are done and ready to rock. Pull this behind you, pick it up, do whatever you need, and you're fitting a boatload of miniatures inside this hard case. So check this out on our website. It's available for pre-order. It comes out this fall. We look forward to seeing you guys. Thanks very much.